we're going to go through a, a solution to a group activity uh, that we have for deriving transfer functions from uh, first principles models. Okay, so in the first example, um, we have a, uh, a just a simple tank, okay, with a certain uh, inlet concentration and then uh, an outlet concentration as well. So CI, uh, you have a concentration coming in and a concentration uh, leaving as well. And we want to get a transfer function. Okay, so we want to get C of S over CI of S is going to equal the transfer function for our system. So if we, if we write, first of all, just a, um, let's just do a, a species balance. Okay, so if I had DNA DT equals N dot um, A in minus N dot A out. Okay, and then I can relate that. Um, you know, let's say I had, okay, so concentration of A times the volume. The volume is going to be constant. And then I have Q times C in, C A in uh, minus Q times C A out or CA in the tank. Okay, so um, I'm going to, if I linearize this and just put it into a deviation variable form, I come up with uh, that transfer function. This is already a linear model, so really all I've done is just added uh, the primes here, which in indicate that I'm in deviation variable form, or C equals C prime equals C minus uh, C bar, or these are the steady state nominal conditions. Okay, so I want to put this into the transfer function form. Okay, and so what I do is, is just use my uh, Laplace transforms. So that's going to be C times C of S minus concentration at time zero because I'm in deviation variable form. That equals zero. Okay, because I've selected the nominal conditions to be starting at zero. Um, equals Q over V times CI. Um, S minus Q over V C of S. Okay, so now I just want to collect this onto the left side. And so I have S plus Q over V times C of S equals Q over V times CI of S. And then if I just divide both sides by CI S, and also take this and divide it over here as well. Okay, and then I have S plus uh, Q over V. And then the other thing I can do is, um, you know, just go ahead and multiply both sides by V over Q. And that's going to give me 1 V over Q times S plus 1. Okay, so I immediately see here if I, if I put it into my standard form kp tau p s plus one that the gain is going to be equal to one okay so that makes change that makes that makes sense uh, if i have a change of 0.1 moles coming in okay so i increase that by 0.1 eventually the output is also going to see a 0.1 change okay so my gain the delta of my output divided by delta of my input is equal to one um, and then this is my, my time constant, the volume divided by the flow rate. So as I increase the volume, my time constant, or the amount of time that it takes for that change to happen, is going to increase. Um, as I also increase my flow rate, that time constant is going to decrease. Okay, so we've uh, put each of them into a standard form. Okay, so I put this into, for example, a Kp over tau Ps plus 1. Um, you know, after transforming it um, into the Laplace domain and uh, and define the, the time constant, okay, so tau p um, was equal to v over q. Okay, and then uh, find the transfer function between the specified variables, and that's what we did right there. Okay, so let's go on to the, the next one. Now, this is a very similar one to this first one, except we have a reaction. Here. And just from the linearization, it looks like we had um, the rate um, of A was K2 times
times uh, c squared. Okay, when we linearize that, we get this term, which is just going to be a constant. So I'm going to call this, uh, just in the hint here, I'm going to call this uh, 1 over beta. Okay, so um, if, I, if I put this into Laplace form, okay, again, 0 initial condition, so I'm just going to leave that out. Um, and then I have Q divided by V times CIS and then minus uh, 1 over beta times c of s. You know, notice one of the other things is you don't see a, uh, primes here. When I take it into the Laplace domain, this was to indicate deviation variable form, but we already know that when we go into Laplace form, um, everything is going to be in deviation variable form, and so we typically just leave that prime off. Okay, and so let me just go ahead and multiply this out. Okay, so I'm going to or combine the terms. So I have s plus 1 over beta times c of s equals q over v ci of s. Okay, so let me go ahead and just uh, do a transfer function here, transfer function form, and that's just going to be q over v uh, divided by s plus 1 over beta. And if I multiply the top and the bottom by beta, then I have beta times q over v divided by beta times s plus 1. Okay, so in this case, my, my gain, uh, kp over tau p s plus 1, my kp is going to be this numerator term, and my time constant is going to be the beta. Okay, so let's go on down to a final one here. Now this one is, a, is an, from an energy balance equation and I'm trying to get two transfer functions. One is for um, how the temperature is affected by an inlet temperature, and then another one by a heater, okay, a heater output or a Q value. And I also have some terms that can help me uh, simplify, um, and so I'll just use uh, alpha equals one over uh, rho V C sub P, and beta is Q over V. So let me just go ahead and write that in terms of alpha and beta, just so I don't have to carry around a lot of, of extra terms here. Okay, so I have T inlet minus uh, the temperature coming out, um, plus, and then I'll do alpha times Q bar, or Q prime, and uh, I'll put this into the Laplace form. Again, zero initial conditions for deviation variables, so I can just, I can drop that one, minus beta, times T of S plus um, alpha, okay, so alpha times Q of S. Now, I, you haven't seen problems where you have two inputs that can change. Okay, so if I want to just get this transfer function and then get this transfer function, first of all, I just assume there's zero change in the Q. Okay, and so this term is going to drop out because I have um, zero change, and so that term will be zero, okay, for the Q. And then I can get my transfer function of T of S over T I of S, um, and that is going to be beta over S plus beta, and that is going to be one over one over beta S plus one. Okay, and so putting it into uh, standard form, KP over tau P, s plus 1, my gain is 1, and my time constant is 1 over beta. And now I want to assume that um, the initial, uh, the, the inlet temperature does not change. And now let me get the transfer function with respect to Q. Okay, so if I, um, again, bring this term over onto the left-hand side, combine T sub s, T sub s over Q of s is going to be alpha uh, divided by s plus beta and then my gain is going to be alpha over beta and my time constant again in this case is going to be 1 over beta. Okay so that shows how to get a, a first principles model. Okay this is just in terms of concentration no reaction. This is in terms of uh, concentration with the reaction and then the final one is from an energy balance. 
Okay, and remember to get it into this form, you have to use the Taylor series approximation. So if I have something like this, I just need to take this part and do an approximation. Okay, and that's going to be the Taylor series approximation. And I'm going to plug in the nominal values for x and u. Okay, and do the same thing for u as well. Okay, and that becomes x prime, and that becomes u prime, and this becomes a constant, and that becomes another constant out front. Okay, so this is the process of getting it into um, these deviation variable forms like I showed. And then this takes it down to the point that you can get transfer functions.